All right, hey everybody, this is John with Dead Drift Outdoors. I am back down in Pennsylvania today. It is early May and we've gotten a lot of rain this last week, so the creeks have been super high. Finally, the smaller creeks are starting to drop and clear. I believe this is a native brook trout stream. I have not fished it before. I did stop and fish a small creek I fished last year earlier this morning and didn't get anything. Tried uh, dry droppers, tried um, woolly buggers, so tried a couple other streamers, but nothing. So good day to explore another creek. I'm sure this is a good fishery. I just uh, don't know how it'll produce today. But anyway, I'm gonna grab my gear and hike on down to the creek and see what we can get into today. So I just got down to the creek and I'm, I just worked a woolly bugger for a little bit, nothing on that still. Haven't seen or moved a fish, but I'm going back with the dry dropper. I've got a big wolf and then I'm dropping about two feet again. This time I'm going with a Lively Legs Prince. Something a little flashy, see if they like that. I'm thinking my best bet is gonna be these small to medium pockets where there's some slower water. Might find some active fish in here. First fish of the day. Just afternoon and I got my first trout. Took a couple hours, but. The little brookies are loving this gardener bug. Look at this guy fight. Alright, all right. fish of the day so far. Cool. Andy unhooked himself. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. Alright, finally a decent fish out of this beautiful pool. Nice brook trout. Ooh, that's a big fish right there. That was a big brook trout.
I was just about to say, how can there not be a fish in there? I was looking for a little bit bigger, but hey, that's a trout. Oh, darn it. There we go. I missed the bigger one. I had a couple, oh, there he goes. I had a couple hit on my uh, stimulator and they were too small, so switch back to the wolf. It's hard to find that perfect in between. The Not too big, but big enough to float a nymph. That's a good fish. Oh, that was a good one. There he is. Darn. Oh, that was a good brookie. He had hit earlier on the dry and then he just finally ate the nymph. Man, that's a good fish. I see him still. He's hanging right there. All right, missed this fish a couple times and uh, just let it rest a little bit, took a break and changed up my setup a little bit and got him on the nymph. I'm pretty sure this is the same fish. He was in the same spot. Ooh, that's a pretty one. That is a dandy. He ate the, uh, just the um, guide's choice beadhead hairs here, pretty simple. Sometimes just switching it up is enough. Oh, a couple fish. All right, it has been a slow day, but things are picking up, starting to have some success, and then this is what it's all about. Gorgeous, gorgeous wild brook trout. Stunning purple fish. All right, well, that was pretty awesome. There's just a really nice pocket in between these two logs here, and I threw my dropper dry in there and had two fish just attack. So I'm pretty sure that second fish is gonna, is gonna come up here, so let's see what happens. There it is. Not as big as the other one, but pretty cool. There are bugs coming off now. There's some caddis and some mayflies, a bunch of midges. All right, things are picking up.
Oh, that was cool. Right out of the water. <laughs> Getting a little bit more aggressive. That was cool. Just flung it in that corner and this guy came leaping out. Another pretty guy. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Oh wow. Heck yeah. What a great fish. That was really cool. I threw it into this eddy and I could just feed line and I just let it drift and I was thinking right at that edge man and I just saw the the dry suck in and look at this fish this is I think bigger than the other big guy Missed a couple nice ones in that hole. Got a good drift though and picked this guy up. Oh, that was a nice one. Darn. That was a great take, though. Whoo!
Oh, man. That was a good one too, man. Oh. oh, I've missed like three good fish in this pool. Whew. All right, <laughs> not the big one, but at least we got one on film, I think. I've been moving my big camera to each likely spot and missing fish, but hey, having a ball. Absolute having a ball. Oh, she sunk. There we go. All right. That was a good take, I think. That was a cool fish. I'll have to look at the footage, but I think that's probably a pretty good one. There it goes. I think that's the same big one I missed. All right. <laughs> that was one of the best fish of the day right there. Saw a fish rising over in under that boulder there and missed a nice take. I think this is that same fish. And then I targeted a different spot, came back, and there you go, got a good drift. Hopefully got another one on camera. It's one of the cool things about filming these dry fly takes is, I mean, you get the pure adrenaline of catching the fish, and then you get to go home and watch the video, and it's just really a neat thing to do when you capture it. Sometimes you don't, and it's frustrating, but Usually after a full day like this, I'll have some good footage. Beautiful fish.
Well, there's my truck, so and I said I was going to leave by, well, I said 5.30. It's almost 6, so I guess I'm going to call it a day, but it's hard to stop. The fishing's still pretty darn good. All right, well, I'm back in my truck. I'm pretty darn tired. I could have kept fishing, but uh, I'm already past when I said I'd turn around. So anyway, what a day. Uh, started really slow, worked hard, tried lots of different things, but honestly, it was just the temperature and the bugs that got the fish going. So it was just a matter of hanging in there, and I uh, really paid off in the end, had lots of action. I missed a ton of fish, but had an absolute ball. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And don't forget, give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment if you'd like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all next time.